Hey guys, a bit of a different video today. Just doing a pickup video of what I've bought in the last few weeks to a month. Um, so here we go. We'll start off with a 2019 Prism 9 Janus. Obviously, it's because he's just won won the championship. So I thought forty dollars. Can't really go wrong. Nice PSA 9 card. Then we got a couple of these, um, they're just were, um, authenticated because they're the, um, the old hoops where they've heard that they got through the factory, they, um, there's some big, they found in the factory years later and they're missing the, the patches, so it's got a couple here where they've, they don't actually have the patches in the card, so I just thought they are quite cool to have, so you don't really see, and um, for $15 each. Can't really go wrong seeing the price of grading at the moment is absolutely ridiculous and the wait times. And also um, bought this Tyler Hero because obviously PSA 8, rookie card, $15. Pretty much underrated Miami Heat um, rookie card. So $15 is a good wee buy. And here we've got an 8.5 John Stockton. Nice looking card. A uh, couple of nine subgrades, a couple eight point five, so eight, so quite a high, high eight point five, and got a Hakeem, another eight point five, yeah, some good high grades as well, and now we've got a Clyde Drexler, Drexler, why is the camera not focusing? Another. Not bad subgrades on the back there. Also got a Grant Hill eight point five. Like this is cheaper than the actual grading cost, so you can't really go wrong. And these next two cards here, I swapped for a V Max Charizard, so just raw. But SGC here is um, probably the next best thing when it comes to grading. KPG rookie a nine. And also Eric Paschal, um, the red, white, and blue prism rookie card of Neiman 9. And then also bought some UFC cards. It's quite lucky, got this prism, Dustin Poirier, the day before his fight with Connor, where he broke his leg. So for me, that was a good buy. And Bobby Knuckles, Robert Whitaker. Very underrated champ or ex champion. But with his next fight, I think he's fighting Izzy next, so it'd be good to see that. And then just bought this just for a laugh, like probably the worst UFC fighter of all time, CM Punk. Uh, I paid $20 for that, but now because I've seen um, Tops lost the rights to the UFC, now it's gone to Panini, so these cards will never be made again. And then I bought this hands up. Um, Chinese Pikachu that's still sealed paid a hundred dollars for this um, it's probably the card I'm kind of iffy about seeing in the 25th anniversary they're re-releasing this is a free promo card in one of the boxes so but this is quite a rare one so hopefully it will still hold its value and then I just went through the dollar bins and came across some nice rookie cards um, then you've got a couple of contenders, uh, Steve Curry, 50 cents each, can't go wrong, a couple more rookies, I think these were 50 cents or a dollar each, so they were quite cheap, just nice, nice cards, and also I think for a dollar was this, a quarterback, Felipe Franks, signature rookie, so for a dollar, can't go wrong, and it's pretty much what I bought in the last month, or sports-wise, Pokemon-wise, and cheers guys, we'll catch you on the next one.